a couple of days ago, Manchester City were fined 2.09 million pounds for repeatedly being late to restart a game after half time. And this happened 22 times. Let me just clarify that this fine is not part of the over 100 charges that uh, City are being investigated for. This one is for the English Premier League and per the rules and TV rights and everything, you need to start games at the time that has been designated. And Manchester City repeated before 22 times arrived late to begin a match after half time. And I mean, Pep Guardiola during preseason, he's been quizzed on the fine and he says that he would try as much as possible to make his halftime talks very short. <laughs> he believes that because he's, ha he's been having longer halftime talks, that is why they arrive late, meaning their opponents would be ready and City players would not be ready to restart them. So City always delays it. And I believe that this was always captured in the referee's report or the match commissioner's report. I'm using Ghana as a basis. City were quizzed. They said they do not have any reasons, any tangible reasons for that. So they are going to pay the 2.09 million pounds that they've been fined. You see, these people, I'm talking about Europe and abroad, they are serious about football. In Ghana, I'm using Ghana because I'm in Ghana. In Ghana, this wouldn't have been an issue. Okay, I have arrived late, maybe five, ten minutes late, or let's say five minutes after half time. Uh, the rest, we are resting for 15 minutes. I use 20 minutes. And so what? Why would you find me? But they have signed contracts with TV right holders, and these TV right holders also have sponsors, and these are the money that they are using to sponsor the EPL. So they must abide by the times. And these are petty, petty things that is making the EPL and the other top European leagues what it is today that we are all scrambling to watch. In Ghana, can we do that? We are always blaming the FA, the Ghana League is this, is that. And I also blame the FA to some extent. I believe that the FA must be firm on some of these rules. We have a lot of rules, the club licensing committee, each and every season, if you look at the reports that is given us after they go round inspecting various venues, most of the clubs are given partial approval. And my question is, by the time the league ends, whatever that they did not do, which warranted that partial approval, were they put in place? Most of the time, it is no. And even clubs in Ghana, we can have two clubs going to play. The home team will say they are waiting for the away team to step onto the pitch first before they step onto the pitch. The away team will say they are waiting for the home team. The home team will say they are waiting for the away team. Superstitions everywhere. And these clubs, I believe, if we want to, if we want to brand the Ghana Premier League very well, these are some of the petty, petty, petty things that must be put in place. If your pitch or your, your venue is not fit for purpose, I believe and I, I wish the club licensing committee or the team will reject the venue outright because if you say you do football, you have to make sure you do it and do it well. Football is money. We must be investing in football and club owners and team owners and traditional clubs must know this in Ghana. Um, what happened to City? People haven't given it much attention, but look at it. Being late to restart a game, maybe the game ended at 3.45. Four p the, the first half ended at 3.45. 4 p.m., you must come onto the pitch for the second half because you need 50 minutes of rest. Then City will arrive 4.05, 4.02, They've done that 22 times, and they've been fined 2.09 million pounds. In Ghana, I don't think we even, I'm talking about Ghana because I, I am here in Ghana and I know some of the things that happened in the Ghana Premier League. We must learn if we want to, I mean, meet some standards. I don't know about Nigeria, the Nigeria Premier League, I, uh, Premier Football League. I, I, I pray that if some Nigerians are watching, tell me what happens in your league. Any African country, Kenya, South Africa, Uganda, Zimbabwe, Tanzania, Somalia, Sudan, Please let me know what happens because uh, we, we need to accept the fact that we must do the right things if we want our leagues, 
if not match up with what is happening in the top European leagues, at least we give ourselves some standard. Especially here in Ghana, a lot of things happen. A TV right holder would be going to the dressing room of a club or a team that is in the Ghana Premier League that is enjoying the sponsorship package of these TV right holders and they will tell them they are doing their own things in the dressing room so they will not allow cameras into their dressing rooms. Meanwhile, it is part and parcel of the package. I mean, pre-match, all these things in the tunnel, dressing rooms, warm-ups and all those things. We have clubs that have chased cameras away from their dressing rooms and I believe that if the league is going to start, the FA must stamp its authority and don't, exp don't assume the clubs know. Have a meeting with these handlers, the handlers of these clubs in the Premier League, and tell them that these are the rules and regulations, and you must abide by them. And these clubs must also go back and tell the entire team, including their fans and supporters. Because if we want to get there, these are the little, little changes we must bring into our league system, and I think it will help. I'm so proud of the EPL. I'm so proud of Manchester City for even saying that they don't have any tangible reason. They have accepted that they started 22 games late during halftime. They came onto the pitch late, and so they will pay the money. And it is a good thing because, for me, when I was discussing with friends, some were saying, hey, Adie Weinso. Just coming late to start a second half, you'll be fined. It shows that they are serious and they mean business. They respect their sponsors. And that is why sponsors would always troop in to sponsor the EPL, the Spanish La Liga, the German Bundesliga, just to mention a few of the top leagues in Europe. So let, let us learn. Let us learn. If you are from any other African country and you are watching this video, I mean, in the comment section, tell me some of the things you experience when it comes to your league that, I mean, is mind-boggling. As I said, for instance, Ghana, a TV rights owner is coming to your dressing room and you tell the, 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 the cameras that you don't need cameras in your dressing room. Who, who does that? And as I said, I blame the FA too. Some of these sanctions must be strong. It must be strong. If your venue is not fit for purpose, don't give this partial um, clearance. Let them reject it outright and let these clubs do the right things. My name is Kukudro Kudifosh. Always follow me for more.